Hey everybody, welcome to TheExperienceBar.com. I'm Sean Roslin, and this is Must Play. A look at some games you might have missed when they first arrived. This is Forza Horizon. Um, this is a pretty late uh, Xbox 360 game, um, although I have to say Forza Horizon 2 also came out on the 360, um, but that was a primarily an Xbox One title. This is the first Forza Horizon, um, and uh, it's, you know, a spin-off of the main Microsoft Forza series, uh, which is all about cars. Uh, Horizon is made by Playground Games, and it was, uh, it was, uh, it was released in the twilight of the 360's life cycle, so uh, it's a game that a lot of people looked at as, oh, this is a spin-off. You know, it's not as good. It's not, you know, a mainline Forza game. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's not. It's it's different than the mainline Forza series. It's definitely got uh, a different feel to it. But it's really, really good. Um, in fact, it's one of my favorite games in, in on the system and, and Rivals... Uh, Rivals 4 to 3 is my favorite in the series. Um, the sort of plot line of Forza Horizon is revolves around um, this festival in the middle of Colorado uh, called the Horizon Festival, which is basically a um, like a cars and music festival. And um, you uh, you start off. As a, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna let the intro speak for itself. It's it's actually really good. Hey guys, you're listening to Horizon Base Arena with me, Scott Tyler, on the first day of the Horizon Festival. It's already a beautiful Colorado morning here with a forecast for high energy, scattered rhythms, and plenty of thundering engines. Hey, the word here is that the reigning champ Darius Flint will be arriving at Horizon today. So. If you're on the roads just now, then stay out of his way, kids. He does not play well with others. This is Horizon. Keep it here. So, yeah, the the cool thing about the way this opens up, of course, it does the traditional Forza thing of put you in a really fast car that you'll get to, you know, farther along in the game. And you're racing Darius Flint, the, you know, champion of Horizon. So it, it starts off pretty cool in this Dodge Viper here. Ah! Uh, I'll switch to cockpit gear. So, you know, the, the physics aren't quite as realistic as the main Forza series, uh, at least on 360 uh, in this title. But that's okay, you know? Uh, this game is a lot about fun, and uh, it, it does a really good job of, of managing this, this sort of carefree, open festival style. Uh, one of the big things about this game is, uh, compared to like, say a normal Forza title, is that it's open world. So it takes place uh, in the open roads of Colorado. You see I've got a driving line, you know where I'm supposed to be going. But you can kind of go anywhere on the map. I was right, people. Darius Flint really is approaching Horizon right now. And word is, he's already racing. Typical Darius. But hey, it doesn't matter who you are or what you're driving, okay? Bring your ride and bring your friends and just get down here now, okay? It's day one of the greatest festival on earth and we are gonna... So here's your character, uh, generic white dude number 72 on the left. A very special guest here with a big announcement. It's CEO of Horizon, Alice Hart. Alice, how you doing? Hey, Scott. How are you? I'm great, I'm great. What have you got for us, Alice? Well, this is shaping up to be Horizon's biggest year yet. The Horizon Championship starts tomorrow morning, and I have places in the heats up for grabs to the next 10 cars who arrive at the Horizon entrance. Oh, damn, girl, that that is too cool. Hey, yo, if anyone out there is still on their way, you have got a chance to make it into the Horizon heats. Come on! So yeah, this this intro is really good. They cue up the music perfectly. Um, you know, they give you a real sense of purpose. 
you start off racing Darius Flint, get a taste of what the fast cars are like, and then they, I don't know, I don't want to say, you know, like Metroid nerf you, but they introduce your character and give you a chance to get to the Horizon Festival in your shitbox VR6 Corrado. Uh, so now you get a race to the Festival Center. Um, a lot of this game is, you know, about sort of the celebration and love of cars. Like, you can kind of see it in that opening shot of everybody just kind of hanging out and talking about, uh, you know, whatever ride they have, whether it's a Focus ST or a Lance, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, uh, or in your case, a Shipbox Corrado. Corrado, that's a deep cut on a car. It's, that it's not, most people are not going to really, you know, unless you're a car person, VW Corrado is not the most exciting thing in the world. Um, but it's definitely, it's definitely an enthusiast vehicle, especially if you, you know, don't have any money. Weirdly, they're kind of going up in value now. But, uh, yeah, this game, uh... You know, it was a late 360 title, but it really looks good. They they have Forza's normal 60 frames a second, uh, as they did with Horizon 2, uh, but this is the first time they've done it, and, you know, the controls don't really suffer for it, especially considering that this first Horizon is a much more arcadey game than the other Forza games were at the time. Um... Uh, Horizon 2 actually just keeps kind of the, a lot of the simulation elements of Forza 5's engine because it's built from the same one. Um, but this one, uh, you know, trades some of the realism for 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 look. And, and in a game like this, where it's not necessarily about the simulation, but it's about the fun and the feel of the cars, uh, you know, it's not that important. Also, nobody has a stock stereo in their VW Corrado. That just doesn't exist. Yep. Congratulations, you made the heats. That's an access sticker, a map, and a pass to the qualifier events. And this is so I can get in touch if I need to. You'll need to get your car checked out by a race engineer, Dax Stewart, over at the garage. I'm Alice Hart, by the way. Welcome to Horizon. So, they do a really good job here at the beginning of this one. You know, I really, I really fell in love with this game when I played it, just because, you know, a, a story is totally unnecessary in a driving game, but they do a good job setting up the, I don't want to say villain, but, you know, like your main rival, Darius Flint. Of course, he's not your rival yet. Nobody, you're nothing, but you work your way up from the bottom to eventually racing him. Um, one of the cool things they do is introduce these sort of rival characters as you work your way up in each class. This is one of them here, this guy. Um, basically, it boils down to there are a bunch of rich kids who their parents buy cars for them, and you're sort of the up-and-comer, you know, show up in your, your cheapo hatchback, and eventually work your way up to racing against them. Before you learn the game. Hey, hey, hey. 95 VW Corrado. This is Dak. You're going to go to him for upgrades later in the game. Of course, of course they introduce him as the crusty old mechanic. Turn her over. Timing's off. On the bright side, this fine automobile shouldn't get you killed. Now that you pass. You'll need to come back and see me for performance upgrades to stay competitive. Unfortunately, you don't uh, see any of these characters again. They render these scenes just for the beginning intro. But, you, you know, you get some good dialogue voiceover from all these characters. Um, and then I think after this, they kind of just turn you loose in the world here. Uh, but it does, it does a really good job easing you into uh, the game and, and what the gameplay is like. The heat you're competing in is marked on your map. Set your GPS to it. So you can kind of see here, this is the Horizon map. You've got pretty much all of Colorado to drive around in. And they've got some good mix of, like up here, there's some twisty mountain roads. And you've got the highway here that goes all the way here. That if you want to get it to top speed in like a, uh, you know, Diablo SV, you, this is where you want to do it. 
Um, and then you've got areas all here. This is the Horizon Set Festival here in the center. So anytime you're, you're facing inward, uh, you'll see like the center of the show and the fireworks and all that. But all these areas have events in them, or they will populate with events. They've also got hidden signboards that you can get for discounts at Dex Shop, and there's, uh, there's speed traps you can run through and, and compete against your friends. Um, so there's a lot to do in this game. I ended up doing all of it. I reset my save to, to do this, uh, do this must-play here, but uh, it's definitely a well-featured game. You could spend a lot of time with it, and, and I liked it enough to do everything with it, so... We're going to go to our first race here. Yes, that's exactly what you do. You give a radio a whack. But yeah, there's there's three uh, radio stations in here, and the music in this game is excellent. Um, you know, you saw in the beginning they sort of tailor it for the event, and they do that in the in-game events too. So... Uh, you can cycle through three radio stations, but they generally queue one up that they kind of want you to listen to at the beginning of each event. You can change it, and all of them are really, really good. Uh, I'm going to front wheel drive Corrado. I'm going to do reverse donuts. Um, you, yeah, you also have other cars driving around the environment. Uh, you know, sort of. Adding to the realism, you can challenge them to races at any time. Um, uh, not right now, I don't think, because I'm still in the tutorial mode. But if you pull up behind another racer, you you uh, you have the option to to race them. Uh, turn the point on the map. All right, so let's do this. But yeah, the, the soundtrack is incredible, and, and being limited to a 360 disc, uh, I think was actually kind of beneficial. A Horizon 2 soundtrack didn't grab me nearly as much, I think because they had the whole Blu-ray to work with, and so they have more stations, and it's more of a mishmash, and they didn't have to be as careful curating the the selections where they did here because they had limited disc space. So every song on this track is, um, as you would call it, a banger. Uh, if you watch uh, Parks and Rec. Uh, anyway, now I've got my douchey jacket on, so let's uh, let's jump in here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to change my assists because I think you start this game with all the assists on. And yeah, okay. So let's see here. Uh, I want ABS on, simulation steering, track control off, automatic shifting is fine, braking, uh, braking will, nah, you know, I'm going to turn the driving line off, uh, cosmetic damage, rewind, pump up, will be fine. Alright, start the ra- you know what, mm. The, the driving line one, especially in the Horizon games, is one I kind of like to have on sometimes. Just because... You know what? No, I'm going to leave it off. Just because there's... Um, there's not always... It's, it is open world. There's not always as much direction as which place you know, you're supposed to be going. But this one does have the map in the corner, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. So yeah. Thumping soundtrack. Um, but you start off in these low-level events and work your way up, and they have some some cool other events you can do. Um, you know, it feels like Forza. I, I keep going back to the fact that the handling is more arcade and simulation-y. Um, it, it, it definitely still feels like Forza. Even when I switch to simulation steering, it's not super simmy. Actually, simulation in Horizon feels like normal steering in for like regular Forza, at least on the 360. Um, it's it's fairly well implemented, um, and you still got everything you've got in the mainline Forza series. Uh, you've got the rewind, you've got uh, different camera angles. Really, the only sacrifice they made to make it open world was 
uh, trade off the 60 for 30 frames a second, and it really doesn't suffer. The, the game is rock solid, um, and it looks incredible for a 360 game. I, I still think it looks really good uh, now. Uh, it's, it's got an art style to it, for sure, especially with the character models. But it really does a good job of creating this festival atmosphere, what with the music and everything, and racing past these stands of fans, and you know, everything's just sort of set up in the middle of nowhere in Colorado. Uh, it, it, it's really well done. And, and it's a game I think a lot of people overlook just because it came out so late and it was not a mainline Forza game. And you're doing yourself a disservice by not taking a look at it uh, because it, it is really good. Of course I did. Played way too much of this game to not win first race in the game. Um, but yeah, everything sort of coalesces into this this really good. This you know they nail the feel of the festival atmosphere. It actually got to the point where, it, especially with the um, the. The music and everything. I went back to like the mainline Forza games. Forza Five. I ended up playing with the um, the playlist uh, on Spotify of, of this game just because I liked the music in this one so much. Okay, so here's the the one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, so you have the other portion of this game are showcase events. Um, you, you also have rival races. I mentioned sort of the rivals earlier. Each each sort of class you work your way up, you will um, you'll get a rival um, in that class, and, and they'll be in all your races. And then at the end, you can challenge them um, to a race, and, and you'll win their car. But the other way to get new cars, other than outright buying them with credits, is um, in showcase events which i'm going to do right here so this one's called mustang vs mustang and it's pretty cool um because it's an open world game every time you set a point you got to drive through it on the map you can fast travel um but it costs credits um there are signboards in the game that you can run through um here you go here's a speed camera tutorial so running through speed cameras, uh, you can. There's a leaderboard for that. Uh, I think there's also an achievement for doing it at a certain speed. But um, running through those, you know, sets you on the leaderboard. Your personal best because. It's a new, but uh, look, top 44 percent. What you, the problem with those is once you, you get up to the crazy cars like the Pagani and stuff, it, it just becomes you know getting the longest straightaway before that so that you can blast through at a crazy speed. Um, but, uh, yeah, they do a good job of, of ramping up everything. There was a sideboard. Uh, you, you smash enough of those, uh, certain ones will unlock a fast travel discount. I think this one's one of Dax. Yeah, upgrades. So now I have a 1% discount, up to 100% discount. So if you, you know, knock out all 100 billboards, you get parts for free, essentially, from the garage. It's pretty time-consuming, and you have to unlock the whole map to do it, so it takes a while. You could go sit through and do it once they open up the map here. You could just sit through and do it all at the beginning, but it's, you know, it's kind of fun to spot them. Plus, you don't know where they are, unless you buy the map from them for real money, which, nope. Um, but there are guides online and stuff like that if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, it. Okay, so... So yeah, so if you you can go past an event and just keep driving if you want, but I'm gonna turn around and do this showcase because this is the other really cool part of the Horizon games were, were these, which you you know other than real racing you will not find these in a in a normal Forza game, and it really adds to the festival atmosphere. Like something like this is crazy. All right, so. Uh, this is Mustang vs. Mustang. I'm taking a classic boss against a Mustang biplane. Uh, or not biplane, but uh, airplane. So, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely a different feel, but it captures that festival atmosphere. It's a point-to-point point -point race. Uh, and uh, if you win, you get to keep the car. Uh, 
so it adds another one to your collection. Um, you and the pilot have to pass through the checkpoints in order and then race to the finish line. The plane has a much bigger turning circle than you, but in a straight line, it's faster. So this is going to be close. Basically, I mean, it's a timed event, so if you finish it in a certain time, you'll win, but it, it, it's a cool way of implementing it to make you feel like a badass. Also, like I said, excellent use of the soundtrack in every single one of these events. Like that plane just buzzing you as you run through the checkpoint. Uh, also, the, the, like I said, the, the Forza handling model is in effect here. It's a little bit lessened, so you can compensate for it easier, but like, cars feel different. This being an old Mustang with leaf suspension and big-ass engine, it's pretty much good at going in a straight line. Um, steering is not a strong point, and you can feel it. Uh, that Corrado handled a lot better, not just because it's front-wheel drive, but because, you know, this is an older car. Uh, but they do a really good job of, you know, ramping up and making you feel like a badass the whole way through this game. It's just really well polished and, and, and done. The Playground Games did an excellent job of building this world of Horizon. Um, one that continues in Horizon 2, and I guess if you have an Xbox One, you should go check that one out. Um, but this is definitely my favorite of the series. Uh, so if you've got a 360, uh, come back and play this one, because it, it, it really is worth it. It definitely holds up. I mean, it, yeah, you're used to 1080p and stuff like that, but it, there's nothing really bad looking about this game. Um, and it plays great, so there, there's, you're missing out uh, if you have the ability to play this and you, you haven't. Uh, especially more than the, the second one. I feel like the second one sold better just because the F Forza 5 wasn't as well received on the Xbox One uh, for some of the mistakes they made there, and hopefully the upcoming Forza 6 is going to be better. But uh, it's... I feel like Horizon 2 people were ready for a break after Forza 5, and there wasn't a whole lot to play on the Xbox One, so it did a little bit better than this game did. Uh, although I, I'm sure this game did fairly well being a mainline or being a Forza game in general. Microsoft does a good job marketing their games. But uh, you know, this game in particular, at the time especially, was it was fantastic. It was new, it was different. It, it took the for, mainline Forza series and, and gave it a new new feel and, and, and definitely a more fun and a, less clinical, like especially by Forza 4, everything, and, and 5 even more so, everything felt super like, this is racing, these are why you love cars. It, it was it, not like an episode of Top Gear, because Top Gear is actually more fun, just, just very like, here's the McLaren factory where everything's sterile and, and, and awesome, and this game has none of that, is none of that, and is extremely well made, so... Definitely worth checking out if you have the time. Um, it really is one of my favorite games on 360, and, and it's totally worth playing. And I'm really tempted to just keep playing through this right now, because it's... Man, is this game good. Um, but uh, I guess I should probably stop rambling at some point. So, uh, yeah, if you have a chance and you have a 360, uh, or eventually, as... Microsoft just announced they'll have Xbox One backwards compatibility. Hopefully this will be available to you. It is a first party game. They said they're working on making all of those available uh, on the Xbox One. So if you've got the opportunity, uh, play Forza Horizon because it, it's really excellent. It's a, it's a must play game for sure and uh, it's, it's really worth your time. Uh, thanks for tuning in. You can read more about this game and other games at theexperiencebar.com you can also check out our videos there and our podcast. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at, at BEXPBar. Uh, and if you found us on YouTube, uh, like and subscribe to our videos. Uh, helps us out and uh, gives us an idea of what you guys like to see. So uh, let us know in the comments and uh, come to the website. Uh, we really try to foster community and, and that's what the site's all about. So. Uh, Come on over and, and sign up for an account and, and let us know what you think. Um, 
Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm Sean Roslin, and this has been uh, Must Play for Forza Horizon on Xbox 360.